Ever hear about writer's block? Yeah, did you know it's an excuse writers use to take a really long break whenever they want? True story. Writing's a skill like tennis or cooking. A cook never looks at a raw egg and says, Drat, nothing I can do about this here raw egg. I have cook's block. No, problems have solutions. When writers want more ideas, they read and they take notes. To find a topic for a college paper, you can read course materials, reference works like encyclopedias, or Credo Reference, one of our library databases, or anything else you can find that relates to the subject you're going to write about. Just keep reading, filling your brain with relevant information until a topic reveals itself to you. Of course, finding a topic is only the first step. Before you can move forward, that topic needs to be framed as a research question. A good research question is what turns, hey, here are a bunch of facts I learned about car accidents, into something meaningful. A research question describes what you want your research, and therefore your paper, to address. But some kinds of questions are better than others. A good research question is an open-ended research question. A bad research question is a closed research question. Here's the difference. Using the topic of car accidents, an open-ended research question might be, what's the most sensible way to reduce traffic fatalities on the highway? An open-ended research question can only be answered using a combination of facts and interpretations of those facts. In other words, not everyone who asks the same question will come up with the same answer. The answers to open-ended questions are subject to debate, and debate is what you want for a persuasive college paper. For example, let's say there's a crazy place where they drop the speed limit to 20 miles per hour everywhere, even on the interstate, and nobody has died in a car wreck there since. What does that mean for us? Does it mean that everyone, everywhere, should drive really slowly all the time? Or does it mean that people need to slow down on dangerous stretches of road? Or does it mean that saving lives comes at the cost to never getting anywhere at a reasonable speed? Those are all different interpretations of the same set of facts. You might like some better than others, but none of them are wrong. Unlike an open-ended question, a closed question actually has a right or wrong answer. Here are some examples. How many teenagers died in collisions in 2017? What's the legal driving age in Colorado? What are the punishments for drunk driving in Minnesota? Anyone who asks these questions will come up with the same answers because they're facts, nothing that requires interpretation. So when you're looking at a research question and want to know if it's open-ended or not, remember this. If it can be answered with a fact, it's a closed question. If it can only be answered by a fact combined with an opinion, then it's an open-ended question. Once again, if the answer can be a fact, that means the question is closed and won't make for a good paper on its own. If the answer requires facts and opinions, that means the question is open, and open questions make for good papers.